Hi friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Razzie and I are here today to talk to you about some really great books that we think you might enjoy. Now I'm very excited because the two books I'm going to talk about today are brand new at the library. And if you don't have a hold on them yet, you should rush out and do so because they're absolutely amazing and they're books that I think everyone's going to be talking about if they're not already. So the first one is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Mexican Gothic. Now this is a very creepy tale that takes place when this it takes place in Mexico and it takes place when uh, this young woman named Naomi has received a letter from her cousin who has just been newly married and it seems a little weird she thinks her cousin might be in trouble so she goes out to where she's living now which is in this um, big manor out in the countryside called High, High Place and she goes there to investigate what's going on because she wants to make sure her cousin is okay and what she finds out there is just this insidious house with these people that are very weird and strange. And her cousin just seems totally out of it. She's having all these fits. She doesn't seem to really understand what's going on. And so, um, so she decides to stay there for a while to try and see if she can uncover what's going on. And this book I really liked because, I mean, it's, a, it's termed in the genre of gothic horror because it's very, it's not scary so much as it is just very creepy and disturbing in a thriller sort of way. So if you've seen recently the Netflix movie Rebecca based on the book by Daphne du Maurier, it's a lot like that. Reminds me of that. Reminds me a little bit of Jane Eyre in that sense too, where just the atmosphere is very insidious and you know something is going on, you don't understand what it is, but you just have to keep reading to find out what is going on with Naomi's cousin? What is going on in this house? Why is everybody so weird? And, you know, the house itself seems to have its own kind of personality, much like uh, Manderley in the, um, the book and movie Rebecca. And it's just, it's such a good book. I could not put it down because I was just dying to find out what happened next. And I'm sure that you will as well. That is Mexican Gothic. Next is the brand new Ruth Ware book, One by One. Now, if you're like me and a huge fan of Ruth Ware, you know that her books are just usually unputdownable thrillers. I know unputdownable is not a word, but I like to use it in this case because it totally sums this book up, plus all her other works. If you haven't read anything by her yet, what are you waiting for? Go out and do so. Because she's a really great writer and she writes these thrillers that are just so amazing and fast paced and exciting. And this one takes place in the French Alps. And when, and you can kind of get a little bit of a hint of what's going to happen looking at that cover there. See, there's this, uh, you know, avalanche bearing down. And basically what happens in this mountain, it's this fancy French resort and this tech conglomerate company called Snoop um, is there having this meeting and there's an avalanche, there is an accident and people start disappearing one by one, hence the title. And you're just desperately racing to discover along with the characters, what is, is there something nefarious going on? What are the actual plans and motivations behind some of these people in this company? What is going on here? What is happening? Is somebody actually killing the other guests? And it's very, it reminded me so much of And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, one of her best and most exciting novels. And it's very much like that too. A remote area, a group of people, one by one, they're getting whittled down and you're just desperately trying to figure out what in the world is going on. So if you haven't read anything by Ruth Ware yet, now is a great time to start one by one. Um, if you have and you're a big fan of her already, then you already know what you're in store for. Just a really awesome, exciting thriller. And it's a perfect thing to get your mind off of the pandemic and all the other crazy stuff going on right now. So that's one by one by Ruth Ware. Well, I hope that both of these sound really, really exciting to you. Please feel free to put them on hold through the Farmington Community Library. You can come in and actually pick them up, 
or pick them up during our curbside service hours as well. Thank you so much, friends, and have a great rest of the day.